What a good. What's up, cousin? What's popping? What's going on in the life of a Virgo for the month of July 2019? Hmm. Hmm. Are you guys in this space of embracing getting out your damn head? Let's pray about it, Lord. We come to you right now asking you to get the sign of Virgo out of their head and on their damn feet and moving forward. So be it, so more to be. We receive it, we put it out there, we throw it into the ethers for the somebody to be a man. Okay, let me tell you something. Where it goes, <laughs> you guys, it's been going down with your energy. I actually tried to do you guys yesterday, but what I felt, I didn't like it. So today I'm back and it's better. So I don't know if you guys could recently experience some type of tired moments, but we're going to definitely dig in, all right? This will be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the cross watcher for the sign of Virgo. Hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, this is your first time to my channel, I cuss, okay? If cussing don't work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing. Because me, I'm going to do that, all right? Um, you guys, this message is not going to resonate with everybody as it is a general, okay? So if you need a personal reading, that information can be found within the description box. Also, um... Girl, you guys, girls and guys, thank you so much for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments. I truly appreciate it, you guys. I humbly receive it, the readings. I truly appreciate it, all right? Also, to the new subscribers, welcome to the family. We are dysfunctional. We don't fight and fuss, though. We do that shit on other people's channel, but we do cuss. We share, we grow, we love, we enlighten one another. Poly vibes only be a one big happy family up in here, okay? Return of subscribers. What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? Did you miss me? Because I missed you. What's up, y'all? Trying to get my own shit together. Y'all know when I'm in my bag. I'm not coming to YouTube. In my bag, I'm from Texas. It means I'm in my feelings. I'm not coming to YouTube. I'm not doing it. I don't know what the hell did me clips got in it, but let me tell you something. I don't know what part of me they don't agree with. The Aries, the Pisces, the Libra, or the damn uh, Gemini. I'm not sure. But I will say, this is a time to protect your energy. Trust yourself. Live in the now. And trust in the unknown. Okay? Trust that things will work in your favor. Let's get it, all right? So we're going to start with the intuitive messages for you guys. You guys, take what resonates, leave the rest. If the shit, if the shoe don't fit, don't try and make that motherfucker fit. If it's too big, your ass is going to fall. Let's get it, all right? For the month of July, for the sign of Virgo, what I got for you guys was psychic abilities. Medicine woman. Speak up. Toxic ties. Crown chakra. Royalty. Awareness. Past life, acceptance, receptivity, heightened consciousness, entrepreneurship, pride, manipulative, self-worth, creativity, missing a blessing, self-mastery, only see love, spiritual path. Okay? So I definitely feel that you guys are on an inner journey currently at the moment. Okay, overall energy around the reading, we got the five of diamonds in your motherfucking head. Change is upon you, though. There's a need for you guys to release the aspect of what you cannot control and embrace and be grateful for the aspects in which you can. Okay, we're going to start with your angel messages. The signs that were very imperative to you all, I'm hearing rising as well as Venus, okay, or they may have done their sun move or rising. For you all, I got Sagittarius, okay. I also got Taurus. So that may be prevalent to someone. You may have those aspects in your own chart. First angel message I got for you guys is victory. Archangel Sandifer. Your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. Okay? For some of you all, there is some type of information or some type of download that you are going to receive within the subconscious space. This could be within your dreams, within your meditative state. For some of you all, this could have to do with some type of revelation. You guys have the gift of foresight during this month, so you really need them to trust yourself. There's this sense of heightened awareness. Some of you guys are connecting with a mother figure in your dream space. This person is assisting you in your movement, or this person is giving you, they're trying to give you a different perception around how you see things, how do you perceive things, when you uh, hear things, when you are uh, faced with decisions, do you immediately look at the negative aspects of things, or do you be more so optimistic and see the glass half full, okay? 
For some of you all, there's definitely a need to trust yourself and what it is that you're seeing in your dream space. Some of y'all may also be dreaming of another person. It's because this person is dreaming of you. I definitely feel the aspect of past life energy for you all, which is the intensity behind the relationship, which is the intensity behind the dynamic of uh, even the partnerships or it, the situationships. Or for some of you all, I'm hearing family ties. For some of you guys, you could be experiencing a lot of past life energy, even with your children. So if your children are being a big rambunctious or you're in a situation where you have to stand up, stand up for yourself, even with your children and stand your ground, um, there's a need for you all to be firm and really be firm in your decisions. Say what you mean and mean what you say. Okay. If you are spiritually protected at this time. Some of you guys, your gifts are spiritually protected. There's a need for you guys to pull away and do not be extremely absorbent of other people's bullshit. Okay? Set boundaries. The next message that you guys got is moon cycles. Notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize on these cycles. Intention, focus, centeredness, self-mastery. Okay? For some of you all, you may receive some type of confirmation to your prayers, to your actual manifestations, some type of synchronicities around your harvest. Um, they may come in the form of a white bird. I'm hearing cranes. For some of you all, I'm also hearing uh, chicken, pi they said, chicken pigeons. I don't know if the kingdom animal kingdom we rolling with it chicken pigeons other than you this may be doves pelicans or um some type of white bird they're signifying a rebirth some of you guys some some of you guys are in a very transformative state there's a need again to focus on the throat chakra and activity around the throat chakra speaking your truth what i will and will not allow in my life because for some of you all again there's a sense of absorbing over absorbing negative energies and being some type of magnet for those of you who are empaths you may find that you are in this period of solitude during this time especially if you do any type of healing work or any type of energy transfer work especially those of you who have the gift of premonition there's a need for you guys to truly get your rest as well as not be so old overly focused on tomorrow next week next month that's not your job that's god's job job god what is damn job thanks okay some of you all there may be some type of some type of um shifting in your actual menstrual cycle some of y'all may be having two cycles during this time or during the month of july and some of you all hmm, some of you guys are going through a purification cycle some of you all also may become maybe may become celibate during this time and some of you guys there's a sense of fasting or abstinence okay some of you all also may be walking away from drinking or smoking some of you all you're focused on turning over a new leaf turning over a new leaf you're focused on creation some of you all also may be trying to get pregnant there's a need for you all to track your ovulation schedule and see the synchronicity between that and the new moon cycle i'm hearing okay for some of y'all this scorpio full moon is going to have you a bit sensitive um it could also have to do with these lunar eclipses as well again protect your energy speak your truth set clear boundaries and trust your inner guidance okay Next message you guys got was moment to moment. Shout out to my to my favorite is Virgo. I got a few of them because most of my booze is Virgos. And all y'all watch my videos. So I'm going to give y'all a shout out. They ain't here to read with y'all. You ain't got to go look them up in the damn description box. Shout out to my cousin Jess. Shout out to my Nikki baby who actually got me these ocean these ocean and tarot cards so much understanding so much clarity especially when it comes to the art of self-mastery uh, which has to do ultimately with um you being able to harness harness and align your energy internally so that you can manifest um a bit rapidly when, when it comes to the external alchemy it is fine okay some of you guys also may be into metaphysics during this time as well or studying metaphysics or wanting to go back to school for some type of metaphysics some type of uh, quantum science others of you this has to do with philosophy and others of you this has to do with some type of psychology psychology of animals psychology of plants psychology of people as well there's a focus um you guys put the moment to moment card, okay? So things could be balancing out when it comes to your everyday world and aspects. You guys need to see, you need to embrace your playful side during this time. Some of you guys may be wanting to go out um, and just really do things outside of your comfort zone. Some of you guys, there's a focus on getting your water. Some of you all are, um, some of you guys are manifesting using water. You're, you're, you're mastering the, some of you guys are mastering the elements. 
manifest and use of the elements, water, air, earth, and fire. Somebody is truly tuning in with their inner magician. But some of you guys may be seeing 555 during this time, 222. Two, two. Others of you may be seeing elements of 9, 333. Three, three. A lot of 222. Two, two. Some of y'all also may be seeing 33, the number 6. 6 being the number of harmony, 4 being the number of stability, 2 being the number of balance, and 9 being the number of completion as well as expansion. So for some of you all, this has to do with uh, you being you living in the moment and not waiting and not worrying and not obsessing about what the next person's move is, what they're thinking about, what their expectations are, um, what's on their brain space. Because for some of you all, you are you can actually feel these people's energies once you actually tune and get attuned with oneself. And so there's a need for you guys to separate the energy forces during this time. Some of you guys are energy is very sensitive. You could be picking up on your twelve names energy. You could be picking up on your past life soulmate. Some of y'all feel somebody coming that you ain't never even met before, but because the intensity around your energy is so heightened, there's a need for you guys to get centered. Hug a tree. Stand barefooted in the grass and the soil. Okay? Some of you guys, again, there's some type of connection with nature. And some of you guys, there's a need for you all to get out, step outside of your comfort zone, especially for those of you who've experienced some type of recent tower moment. So we want you to get out. Don't stay stuck up in the damn house. Protect your energy, but also trust your discernment. Uh, some of you all may also be wanting to connect with friends, friends that you haven't talked to in some while, or friends may be wanting to connect with you. There's a there's an element of balance, people wanting to come in and balance balance out things or give some type of clarity to bring balance, to bring harmony back to situations, to bring um, a newfound stability as well as reset foundations in your life. It's about you being in the moment and not worrying about the past, not worrying about how this person will hurt you again in the future. Trust your discernment, trust yourself, and you know which way to move. They choose to miss on their damn blessing and fuck over God's precious them. That's on them. All right, so one second. Take this out. So what messages do you have in love for my cousins? My good girls. Come on, Riley. Then, as well as the cross watcher for the month of July 2019. What messages do you have in love? On Virgo Sun. Some of you guys have a fire sign from the past. Every field that is here. So some of you guys also may be visiting past past creative endeavors that maybe you were afraid to take a leap of faith on in the past. Some of you guys are kind of obsessing because you want to move towards some of y'all want to move towards leaving the job and only focusing on um some of y'all just have to do with your life path. Others of you this has to do with um taking a leap of faith. And for some of y'all, it has to do with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Taking a leap of faith towards the situation from the past based on an offer that you're receiving, um, an offer to work out a situation when it comes to reconciliation. Some of you, this could have to do with the, uh, sorry, a Capricorn as well. But for some of you all, yeah. Some of you all also may be hearing some type of information possibly having to do with the job from the past. You may receive a phone call of um, possibly some type of uh, a place where you used to be employed. This, these people want you back, okay? Virgo, a lot of people from the past want you back. And everybody is expecting for you to take this leap of faith and just jump out there, but you need to get to trust your discernment. Don't be so impulsive, okay? For some of you all, you have a fire sign in reveal that the period. This person could have once been in this space of, of illusionment. Feeling as if they had all the holes, all the breezes, okay? For some of you all, this person could be, some of y'all are in your head because it's tied to a family situation. For some of you all, you could be really thinking about it in your head about it because you need the financial assistance and this person is coming in with financial assistance to help you, okay? For some of you all, this could definitely be a child's mother or a child's father. Some of you guys are choosing to free yourself from a family dynamic. Yes, you have invested a whole, whole lot. But at the center of the reading, I see that you're over, you're tired. You're tired of putting into situations that ultimately end up with toxic ass outcomes. I feel as if you're willing, some of you guys are laying some shit to rest when it comes to a family dynamic. I feel as if we're losing the whole mentality of, I'm doing this for the kids. I definitely feel like, for those of you who are dealing with air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I feel as if 
For some of you all, there is healing in a situation that is trying to take place that is preventing movement forward because somebody is really in their damn head about if this is worth putting the work into or continuously investing in, okay? For some of y'all, this could have to do with somebody having a trust issue after finding out about a third party situation and cutting somebody the fuck off. Someone could definitely be cutting off a Gemini Libra Aquarius who they have a family with, okay? Or have some type of family dynamic or there was once some type of abundance around, okay? Others of you could be dealing with a fire sign or could be defensive towards a fire sign because I feel like for some of you all, you're focusing on what it is that you do want. Some of y'all do want a damn Leo, but you know that you got to leave somebody in the damn cold. Some of y'all do want to go back and mend the situation possibly with an Aries that you either have children with or that you want some type of abundance around a situation or a foundation with, or this could be this Aries coming back to you. But I definitely feel like some of you all, yeah, some of y'all could also be, um, some of you guys could could be dealing with the, some of y'all could have released yourself and walked away from a third party situation that could have involved also a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Some of y'all could be pregnant from this person, and this person is needing to make a decision if they're going to choose you or this Leo or this damn Aries, okay? Well, this could be you, Virgo. Some of you all, hmm. Some of you all are choosing to leave another earth sign, Capricorn, Tur uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Some of you guys are wanting to leave this person in the past. I feel as if you will always love this person. However, for some of you all, this person may, they made you feel less confident or they made you question elements about yourself. But for some of you all, you're resisting this whole damn new beginning with this person. You're 100% sure. Some of you guys want to take a leap of faith and offer a fire sign, a new beginning, but there's a sense of not moving on it because somebody wants to work on themselves and they feel as if they need to work on their finances. Somebody feel like they don't have enough or they're not going to be enough. I feel as if some of y'all could have some type of title or could be dealing with someone with some sense of title. And I feel as if you kind of, either you or another person is indecisive on which way to go, which way to move, okay? Some of you guys could be dealing with another earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. If you're dealing with the Capricorn, I feel like some of you guys feel as if this person, some of y'all, this person, especially if they have children with a fire sign or with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, some of y'all, this person is indecisive simply because they're getting, they're getting signs and synchronicities from the most high to go back and fix some type of karmic situation when it comes to a family dynamic. So someone has to rectify or fix some type of, go back and actually rectify some type of karmic doors okay let me clarify why is the sun card here yeah some of you guys have a new beginning okay possibly with the new release or leo sagittarius i feel like if you're going back and you're reconciling with the fire sign things things could be very beautiful but someone is resisting movement forward because there was still questions left unsaid or questions left unanswered from the past and someone is afraid that because somebody had this third party energy in the past that they come in with the same shit and it's putting somebody else in their damn head and feeling as if is it safe to you know give my cup away or not okay for some of you all you could be dealing with a water sign that has the freedom cells possibly from an earth sign or an air sign and now this person is wanting to come forth and give you their damn cup but i feel like some of y'all it's like now that this now that this person's wanting to give you their cup, some of y'all this person coming in with financial issues, they coming in, they still really haven't healed from the situation that they're moving from. They really looking for a safety net. So I feel as if there's a need for you guys to move forward and truly, truly, truly have the right conversation and set clear clear boundaries with this person because I feel like this person is moving in an energy that they're comfortable with and some of y'all gonna have to let this motherfucker know listen I know I allowed you to do that shit in the past but this is how this made me feel so I gotta move away from that type of behavior and if it makes you uncomfortable sorry not fucking sorry but I'm a boss and I gotta act accordingly okay why is the devil here why is the devil here yeah for some of you all there's I got the king of hearts some of y'all <laughs> Some of you guys, you have a passionate connection with the Capricorn or a Taurus or a Virgo. But I feel like moving forward and offering your cup of love with this person, some of y'all, this person is attached or married, okay, or already is in some type of family dynamic. But this person is not wanting to let you go, but they still want to put work in their family situation and still want you to put work in, the, in, in you guys' situation. I feel as if you guys are like, I'm not with the shit. I'm going to offer my cup to this new person. I'm going to, I'm going to take my chance, take my motherfucking chances on a new 500, Alex. Fuck. 
Why is the Ten of Pentacles here with the Six of Swords in the verse? Some of you guys, some, if, some for those of you who are talking about divorce, okay, especially if you have children with an earth sign or an air sign, some of you guys may choose to cut the situation off. Others of you may choose to find compromise, find balance, as well as forgiveness and move forward uh, in your family dynamic with you actually standing your ground and telling someone how their behavior makes you feel, okay? Yeah, some of y'all are laying a third-party situation to rest. You're tired. You want a real commitment. You want um, you want a legacy. You want happiness. Some of you guys could also be going through some type of turmoil when it comes to your children. This person could be an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They could also be a earth sign. I feel as if you're kind of in your head about if you want to help them. Some of y'all just could also be a Aries or a Leo, Sagittarius child. I feel like some of y'all are dealing with some dealing with someone who's very ungrateful and you're going to have to let this person bump their damn head to be able to appreciate all the efforts in which you have done because I feel like some of you guys are being pointed at by this person at this time as if you have been this awful person and you may find yourself kind of reflecting and getting your feelings about it but there's a need for you not to judge yourself and for you to forgive yourself okay this person got to be humble so you got to let it go why is the seven of rods here with the ten of cups and the four of Swords. Yeah. Some of you guys, this person wants to move away from resistance. They want to move away from fighting the connection. They want to show you, I'm hearing. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here with the Queen of Cups? Some of you guys need to make a decision on if you want to be in a relationship or not. Yeah, and for some of you guys, you have a water sign that wants to come in and build something with you. After this person has to go out there and find out that the grass wasn't green on the other side. Some of y'all, this is a new water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but this person could be going through a divorce or going through some type of fresh separation, okay? Some of y'all got an earth sign again coming in to offer their cup of love because they broke. They fucked up. They had fake-ass grass over there. Why is the four cups here with the nine of wands? Yeah. Some of you guys are resisting the soulmate because this person made you an option in the past. And I feel like this person wants to come in and work things out. And I feel like you, you worrying about the past is putting a level of, put it, it's like, it's like somebody is putting a limit on God. You don't know what the next person is praying for because the outcome I got bad is the joker, the unknown, the wild card. You can have whatever you like. You are the driver of your damn shit. Thought, word, action. What you think you will manifest. And whatever it is that you think you create the element of belief in order to speak that shit out. So align your words, your intentions with positivity. Get out of this space and trust your inner knowing. Some of y'all are already inner knowing, under, un, understanding, overstanding, knowing damn well you're going to have to walk away from this damn air sign. Some of y'all got to walk away from a water sign, okay? And some of you guys going into a new cycle with the Gemini, possibly also a Scorpio for some of you all with this magician card here that is abundant, okay? For some of y'all, you juggling decision or you or this other person is juggling Making juggling this juggling the decision to not make a decision, which is keeping things stagnant. And there's a need for you all to move away from that shit. You can't you can't rely on another person to validate the connection, to validate what it is that you make them feel, or for that matter, your greatness out of the situation. Move away from that shit. Some of y'all are dealing with a fire sign that could have moved away from they moved away from a situation where there was a lot of turbulence, there was sneaky, deceptive behavior. Some of y'all could have moved away from this fire sign and it caused a big fucking uproar, okay? And for some of you all, you're moving away from situations that and people that continuously make you feel as if you have to argue and defend yourself. And you're focusing on keeping your options open about what it is that you're passionate about. You're getting to know Virgo. And it's causing somebody else to have a fucking shake up because now they want to come in and offer you this stability because some of y'all, you let this person go and they walk right, right off the damn cliff of this damn tower. Some of you all are going to get some type of... Um, Revelation to some type of information regarding the fire sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Some of y'all gonna be finding out that somebody got a damn outside child. I'm also hearing someone could have rejected some someone could have rejected your child because they were trying to build with the, with another family situation. And for some of you all, there is some type of revelation coming around with children. Others of you, this has to do with what you're trying to feel in a relationship and the illusions around what someone has promised you to deliver in a relationship. And it's about what the fuck what they saying, what is they doing, okay? Because some of y'all are going to communicate with somebody. Listen, 
I'm moving forward, okay? And some of you guys are receiving communication possibly from a cancer or someone who's been watching you on social media. This person is wanting to come in very fast and they want to build with you. They want to hold on to you. But I feel like there is some type of interference possibly with an earth sign. This has to do with the past life uh, or past life karma for some of you all. Someone could also be trying to control the situation, either using children or using finances when it comes to dealing with children. Because this person wants to keep the, keep the door open to be able to come in and out your damn life like they want to. Some of y'all got a new beginning with a Pisces. After dropping your burdens around a fire sign, an air sign, or a water sign. Hell, any damn sign. You know your story better than I do, y'all. But you guys, this is what I have for you guys for the month of July. My best advice for you all will be to trust your damn self. Trust what you feel. Trust everything that you can see. Which that you cannot see because blind faith is going to be your bestest friend if you choose to trust the messages that you are receiving in your dream space and your meditative space as well as synchronicities around you. Okay? I love y'all. I will send you guys peace, blessings, a lot of love, and much, much, much abundance, you guys. <sighs> you guys, we're healing. And a lot of folks is coming back and they got shit to say. But it's up to you if you're going to allow motherfuckers to come back in your life with their damn justice shows. The choice is yours. Think about it, Virgo, but don't think too long. Love y'all. Bye, babies.